Well, Patrick, she was sitting to the right of the nets. Now, the Brewers set up that netting in compliance with the MLB at the start of last season. Now, I reached out to the Brewers. I'm still waiting to hear back from them to find out if there are any possible plans to extend the netting further after the close call here during the second inning. The bat was like flying. Opening day 2017 is a game Olivia Recklitz likely won't ever forget. She was sitting behind the dugout in the middle of all the action. Got him. All of a sudden, my husband reached over me, spilled the soda, and kind of deflected the bat a little bit from the kids. It was scary at the moment. I was wondering if it was going to hit me in the head or Olivia in the head. So I tried to protect her and hit my arm and ricocheted and hit her in the knee. Was it scary for you? Yes, very scary. And how bad did it hurt? On a scale 10 to 0, probably a 7. 7, okay. But you're doing okay right yeah. now? Tell me how you feel. Tell me. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. In addition to those net extensions, there are also signs like these alerting fans to watch out for flying bats and balls. After a doctor checked her out, Olivia came right back to her seat to watch the rest of the game. Do you guys think you'll come back for any other games? Uh, yeah, definitely. Are you going to sit in any other areas? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, and while the Major League Baseball did make those recommendations about extending the nets, uh, they did not give any specific lengths. They, since every stadium is different, they left it up to the discretion of the individual teams to balance safety with fans' desires to catch foul balls. Reporting live here at Miller Park, I'm Sheldon Dutez, WISN 12 News. Good to see.